Um, so I'm going to make a video about my experience with bladder installations. I had my first installation today um, and I'll be documenting um, the effects, the highs, the lows, if it's effective at all over the next six weeks. Um, so basically a bladder installation is when they insert a catheter and then through the catheter they put in um, a cystostat solution which basically um, kind of um, is a um, um, a solution that supposedly um, fixes and cushions the bladder lining and can be really beneficial for those that have got um, painful bladder syndrome um, um, and like that kind of thing. Um, so basically, the reason I'm having these installations is following a kidney infection last year, I've had 30 recurrent infections, um, which um, obviously has not been very nice, um, and my urologist contacted me and said that he thought this treatment might be um, beneficial to me, um, so I went ahead with it. Um, didn't really know that much about it because it was obviously, um, he contacted me with a letter rather than like a face-to-face -face appointment, so that was kind of a bit scary <laughs> um, going into something that I'd never spoken to someone face-to-face -face about, um, obviously until the actual day. Um, so I thought the video might be beneficial if you're in a similar position, um, in which you don't really know what to expect um, and it might not be helpful at all <laughs> but um, either way I think it's kind of good to document it just so if someone is looking for the information that they can find me jabbering about it for a couple of minutes. Um, so basically I had my first installation today, um, went in, the nurse was really nice, um, kind of ex sat down and explained the procedure. I had to do a sample um, and she tested the sample, which was fine. Thank God, um, that happens. Um, and then we were able to continue with the procedure. Um, so basically, I was initially quite nervous because I've had a catheter in before and it was the kind of catheters that I've got the balloon that hold it in the bladder and I found that really not very comfortable. So that was kind of what was weighing on me the most. Um, I was worried about having a catheter. Um, and I don't know whether it's because they didn't have the balloons, so they didn't have to be held in, but it didn't really hurt at all. Like there was some stingy bits that I would have been like, oh, but like, no, it was not nearly as bad as the last time. I don't know what this lady did, um, who's like the catheter angel, but it didn't really hurt at all. I think where I do think it's where it doesn't have to be held in, so it doesn't have to be fully, like fully, sh like, like really, really like securely in the bladder. I'm not sure, I'm obviously not a medical expert, neither a catheter expert, but was not, was it was fine. Like it was far, far less stingy than a st stingy wee if you've got a UTI, far less stingy than many things <laughs> in that region of things. Um, so that was fine. And then she put the um, liquid in to be fair, I didn't even realise she'd done it. I think where I've had some procedures in the past where like the the liquid in takes a while. It, I was expecting to be there for a while, but it really only took probably about 10 seconds in total. And I think where I'd expecting it to hurt, I was like, oh my gosh, this is gonna be terrible, but it was over so quickly. Um, and I was allowed to go. I, I, could, I got dressed again and um, left the hospital. Um, didn't have to stay in or anything. I think had I been on my own, I had my mum, my mum dropped me back. I think I probably would have made, I, I don't know, even know, like I had someone with me, I was allowed to go, I felt fine, it didn't feel funny. Um, left and was fine. I think the only thing I did notice was like my bladder and like obviously the area where the um, catheter and the um, solution had been inserted, especially inside like my bladder, felt very warm, like kind of like I had like a reverse <laughs> hot water bottle situation, which actually like was quite comforting. Like it, it didn't, it wasn't, it wasn't like a, like an ag like angry burn, which was like a kind of a warm, warm feeling, which lasted because obviously you have to hold the medicine in for as long as you can. Um, I found quite, um, it, I found it, it, the warmness lasted for the whole time that I had the medicine in. Um, I felt a little bit sore in like the ad abdomen area, which obviously is probably natural because you've probably in this 
been a bit tense because they all know it's about the catatonia, a bit nervous in general. Nothing terrible, like just kind of a general feeling of, oh, I could do with a lie down if I could, if, it, if that makes sense. Like it's a little bit sore, which I'm sure um, you could have like just over the counter um, pain medicine and that would, it would relieve that. Um, I held it in and I held it in. Um, quite enjoying the warm feeling actually, it felt quite nice. Um, when I went for a wee, because of the catheter, stank a bitch. Like, sorry, excuse my language, really was not a pleasant wee. Like, no, no worse than a, a, a stingy UTI, but again, who wants those either? <laughs> like, it definitely was like, oh my god, um, hurt, um, a lot, stingy. Was, but was anticipating that because I've had a catheter before, but definitely does make you sting. Um, and yeah so apart from that obviously to be expected because you had a catheter so obviously everything's feeling a bit like up in arms <laughs> about things um nothing scary there was no blood or anything sometimes even when you have a catheter there's a bit of blood but there was no blood um and yeah it was fine and i feel fine now like i have got a hot water bottle uh, just to relieve the abdomen kind of feeling abdomen pain abdomen kind of discomfort um but yeah no i feel fine um and i'll check in with you guys at some point and tell you if i'm finding anything's better or worse and how the next one goes because obviously next week my aunt is coming but then i'll be alone i'll be going it alone i'll be doing it solo um so i'll let you guys know how it goes if you've got any questions feel free to leave them down below um if there is people watching this if not <laughs> That's fine. Um, and I hope it's helped for people that maybe are watching this. Um, if you get someone to go with you, I think that would be great. But honestly, one down, five to go. Not so nervous about the, the rest of them. So I hope that was helpful. And if it wasn't, then I'll just get no views and that would be cool. <laughs> um, bye.